My brother Arthur, earlier on, was speaking about conspiracy. I wondered for a while what conspiracy there was that took what is likely, if not the oldest, one of the oldest members of this gathering and put him at the end <laughs> of the program. <laughs> and I know that one of the reasons is to give me the joy of looking at you folks who have been here for almost three hours. What <laughs> joy there is. Service. 
where you just meet all through the night until the new day comes. We did that first in large measure in the days when we were waiting for the coming of the Emancipation Proclamation. And people just came to the church and gathered and stayed and stayed and stayed until the word of the proclamation came through. So, you were almost in an all-night watch night service. So feel good and wonderful about three to four hours. Okay? But with all seriousness and joy, I want to report to you that I have seen, especially over the last two years, that my American sisters and brothers have been capable of this kind of intention and this kind of staying with important things far more than they dreamed they could. And I am very impressed with you all. Very glad that you all are still here, still looking as if you're expecting something. <laughs> Still sharing, still sharing, still sharing the dream, the hope, the possibility of the beloved community that you are manifesting right now. In that context, all that I want to do now is ask you Try to be sure, as you imagine, as you dream, as you open up from inside to <coughs> what a beloved community might mean in this country from this time on. All I want to do is ask you to be sure to include some folks in your sense of who is part of this beloved community. I would start, hello Sister Pat, I would start with a sister of mine who I met of all places in Mississippi. And I met her in Mississippi because I was following around those absolutely crazy and magnificent nonviolent guerrilla warriors, the student nonviolent coordinating committee, who had this wild idea that if they were going to do some work for the good of this country, what they were to do is start their work in the hardest place in the country. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> because their thinking was, if we can find some success in the hardest place, if we can break the most difficult place, then we will know that we can go to any place and do the work that needs to be done. That's an interesting kind of thinking for beloved community folks to start out with the hardest place, not with the easiest. Because starting out with the easiest doesn't really test us. Just a thought had nothing to do with who I want to change. 